Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn about viewport. The viewport is part of the web page that the user can currently see. This is often not the same size as the rendered page, in which case the browser provides scroll bars for the user to scroll around and access all the content. I have used this highlight to show the viewport. The horizontal length is the viewport width. It is represented by VW which is a short form for viewport width, of course. So if you want to give an element the entire viewport width, you can give it a value, say width 100 VW. Or if you want to give it 40% of the viewport width, you could give it width 40 VW. Similarly, the vertical length is the viewport height. If you want to give an element the entire viewport height, you can give it a value, say height 100 VH. So viewport height is represented by VH. So that's why height 100 VH. Or if you want to give it say 70% of the viewport height, you can say height 70 VH. And that's how you use viewport to create elements with dynamic width and height. The viewport determines how content is scaled and size when it is rendered on different devices. For this purpose, we have a viewport meta tag to control the width and scaling of the viewport. Without this viewport meta tag, mobile devices render pages at desktop screen width and then scale down the page to fit mobile screen. Let me show you an example. Say we have this web page and this is how it looks on the desktop screen. Let's try opening it on mobile screen. So let's just open it in a new tab, right click, inspect, and just click on this toggle device toolbar. So mine is already selected. So as you can see, it's showing me a mobile screen. So I can change and select different screen sizes. Let's say Moto G4, Galaxy Note 2, or some iPhone versions or iPad. And you can also create your custom screens. So you can click on this edit button and just configure it. All right, so now as you can see, uh, this is how it's looking on the mobile screen. So if you check the dimensions, the image width is 455 pixels. The entire screen width is 414 pixels. So if you can see here, so this image is no way near 455 pixels. So as I mentioned earlier, what's happening here is it rendered the page as a desktop screen and then just scaled it down to fit this mobile screen. So to avoid this scale down, we can use the viewport meta tag. Let's give that a try. So let's bring up our code editor. So coming to the HTML file. And as we all know, we add meta tags inside the head tag. So let's add it here. This meta tag accepts a property name and accepts a value viewport for that. It accepts another property content. And inside this content, we define rules, how to scale and size our web page content. So first one is width. So let's say device width. So this statement width is equal to device width sets the width of the viewport to the width of the device. It accepts another value scale. Uh, so this controls how the web page will be scaled. So to add that we simply do comma and initial scale. We can give it a value one. This initial scale is equal to one sets the initial zoom level when someone visits the page. Let's save it. And as you can see, our images are much bigger now. So right now the width of the image is 455 pixels, but the width of the screen is 414 pixels. So this extra part is overflowing. So if you change the width, let's say instead of 455, let's say, 350 pixels. Let's save it. And now it is inside the screen. So we've got one image in one row. And as you can see, if we want our web page to be responsive, then this viewport meta tag is a must. That's all for today, guys. If there is something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.